Hi, I'm Alon Landa with Medical Coherence, and I'm here at Brockton Animal Hospital with Dr. Ron Hirschberg to help you get the most out of treatment with home light therapy. The goal of this video is to walk through some of the common conditions that Ron sees every day and to benefit from his experience. We've kept these videos short and to the point, so if you have any questions, feel free to use the contact information at the end of the video. So let's get started. This is Lou. Lou is a two-year-old Irish setter who fortunately um, does not have that many problems at this point in time, but given his activity, I'm sure he'll be a patient at some sometime in the not too far future. Lou's a great demo dog, first of all, because he's cooperative also with his long legs. It makes it easier to point things out. Uh, any time that we're treating for any type of a condition, um, there is a, a, a several-prong approach, and that prong approach, that multi-prong approach, involves not just treating the target tissue, um, but also involves treating for circulation. Um, so when we do that, we treat the lymphatic area. So initially, um, let's say that we're treating something such as a front leg. Let's say that Lou had uh, uh, osteoarthritis of his elbow. Here's his elbow here. Uh, we would first treat the regional lymph nodes in order to enhance circulation. For that, regional lymph nodes for that would be his prescapular lymph nodes. So we would be treating him. We would be placing the the laser unit right over his prescapular lymph node, which would be right in this area. Um, we would then apply it for the prescribed uh, length of time depending upon uh, the parameters of the light device that we were using. Um, roughly what we do is we'll treat for a minute and the parameters we like to use here are about 50 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Uh, we use other units that are lower than that, but that generally is, is typical and at that point we will um, then treat this area for about a minute. Uh, we would then move on to his next lymph node, which would be his axillary lymph node up under his front leg. Yes, you don't need to lick that, which would be a, which is going to be a little bit difficult to demonstrate, but I think I can show you here. If he lets me lift up this front leg, his axillary lymph node would be treating right up under his um, the armpit of the front leg. There's a plexus of nerve and uh, blood vessels there, so it's easy to treat. The next area that we would treat then is we would turn our our attention toward the um, toward the affected area. And that, effect, that affected area is, in his case, if we're talking about elbow, then we're going to treat outside the elbow or laterally over his elbow. And so we may treat here. If he's a bigger dog, uh, it may take a couple of those placements to treat. So, um, for example, if I palpate and see part of his elbow is here, if I think that the problem is just specifically in this posterior area of his, area of his elbow, I may just treat posteriorly. Um, on the other hand, if I think it is toward the anterior, the front of the elbow, I may have a second placement here as well. Um, also, um, we would then come to the inside of the elbow as well, and so that we make sure that we get all the joint surfaces because now we're treating target tissue. A couple of things that are very important. The first thing is you want to make sure that you get all the fur pushed out of the way. So for example, if we're talking about treating his knee, you want to move as much fur out of the way as you can so that when you actually place the unit, it's placed in good contact to the to the particular body part that you're treating. Uh, it's not so important if you're holding the unit this way, if you're holding the unit this way. Um, the important thing is that you get maximum contact with the skin and you're able to apply a fair amount of pressure. Um, when you're going to treat lymph nodes, um, I always call that the, the armpit of the back leg. If you can get your pet to lay in this way, that's great. Um, and what you want to try to do is just go right underneath there. What I say again is the armpit and you want to place it so it makes as flat of contact as it can to the skin. It's very important. If it's angled this way or that way, you're not getting the full benefit of the light um, to the light penetrating through the skin or mm -hmm. whatever. So summarizing, if we're dealing with a shoulder, we want to do area lymph nodes or regional lymph nodes first, which would be his prescapular lymph node, his axillary lymph node up underneath, and then we would have probably at least two placements over his shoulder in order to cover the, in order to be able to completely cover the joint. If we move down to the elbow, we've already, same regional lymph nodes, we've talked about that, prescapular axillary, we're treating the elbow, then we're going to do probably just a single placement on the outside of the elbow, probably a single placement on the inside. Um, if you suspect that there's a problem further forward or anterior in the elbow, we may straighten the leg out and find a good, a, a nice notch where we could fit that in as well.